What are your thoughts on on melody? Is it something you're aware of? It's is it something you're not? What do you think? Great question. Great question. Um, I did spend actually a lot of time in my studies, early studies of of trying to understand how how to create a good melody. W what does it mean creating a good melody? Like what what makes a melody satisfying? What makes a melody feels like it's a beginning of something? And what makes a melody feel like, like it's an end, you know, or a middle or like a bridge between two points. Like there's so many um, different values that are that could be very abstract. Um, so I spent a lot of time like analyzing music of Bach of like, why? Why does it feel so good? Like, well, because, you know, first he takes you, he shows you the tonic and then he goes to like the flat six, which is which is, you know, pulling towards the fifth, but then you're going to go again to the tonic and then go to the fifth. So basically all this journey was going from one to flat six to five. So um, all this kind of stuff, of, like understanding the structure of, of melody. So I, I deal, I dealt, still, still am, I'm still dealing with like understanding um, like basic DNAs of, of melodies, you know, like, like, like I said, like if you zoom out, if you just see the the wide shot the the, the 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 big you know like if you just see the the, the far images far objects if there is there a story you know like m maybe this entire thing is just like you know do re mi re do like c c d e d c like take you from here over here to the peak and then go down so that's like the the, the basic structure and then how do you get from c to d so you can do all go through all these like different twists and turns and how do you tell a story getting from c to d and then how from from d to e and then how back to d and how back to how you go back to c um so um many times um when you hear something that is very complex but you can relate to it's because it has a very simple skeleton you know very simple st st structure so that's one thing that I, that I took a lot I'm um, exploring. And then like also um, the different um, degrees of gravity that a melody can give you. And like, you know, Bach is the, the real number one master of, of it, I think. But how does it feel like to end on the fourth? On, you know, on, on the green, you know, on, on, how, how does it feel to get go home but home is like you know it's like the tonic but it's on it's sitting on the fifth like it's uh, like how does it feel well it's it is home but it's no, we're not quite there how does what does this how does a six feel you know say so where is it pulling is it pulling upwards is it pulling downwards um how does it feel to go from six to two to three to five and back to one? all these kind of things that once you start respecting those um the gravities those those little universes and you, f you you could stay on them you know like that's why like time sounds like it the song time sounds like it's taking you to all these different places where it's only one chord because it starts on the major seven to the dumb and that like that the dumb is the fourth and then it goes to the third like all all this kind of stuff that that keeps keeps you like moving and like you keep like keep different tensions um you know tensions and releases and, and so i find that modern jazz tends to go by too quickly you know it's like there's amazing stuff going on you know but it is all played like super fast and you're like oh you know so you don't have any time to to absorb it imagine you like you someone takes you to a Picasso museum and you, it just drives a motorcycle like you just you just pass and you're like whoa I had all this depth that I just didn't have any time to you know, to, to to live with and to project myself in you know which is another thing like you don't always have to give the answers um you can some, sometimes just asking the question is enough you can be like let me propose something and then you you know you fill in the gaps like you you fill in the blanks 
Um, who who is the dream thief? I, I was asked many times. Um, and the answer is I don't know. It's up to you to say. You know, I, I'm just I'm just posing a question. I'm just like, so like doing that musically is super interesting as well. Um, and so um, yeah, that goes that goes to harmony as well and and rhythm and like all each field is a different is a different research and 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 lifetime of of just like digging in um and and and, and expanding and and making my knowledge more and more profound so i can i can actually deal with less you know because because you know there's if you look at this thing it's really simple just a glass of water but there's so much if we, if we just you know start talking about all the little details you know what i mean there's some there's so much going on here right now here i never read it established 1898 great i was just drinking water for the past year from this class <laughs>